Hey guys, this is going to be the second part of my horse slash unicorn tutorial. If you haven't seen the first video, I'll link it in the info box. So starting where we left off in the last video, I'm going to start sculpting the chest. First you want to add layers of clay and build up the shape. Then smooth that out and start placing the muscles. I do want to address that I wasn't trying to make a perfect horse sculpture in the sense that I didn't look at the pictures and tried copying exactly what I saw. I did make some choices myself when it came to anatomy and this is a mythical creature so I think it's allowed. But if you want to make a more perfect looking horse I would suggest that you lean towards the pictures more than my sculpture. As an example, I chose to make the belly very slim, whereas on a real horse, the belly would usually be more rounded. If you're wondering about the tools I use, you can find the list in the info box. I also have a video from my doll sculpting series, which is dedicated to the materials, so you'll be able to find a lot of information in there. I then started adding layers of clay to the rest of the body. This is definitely the part with the least details and it's basically just a matter of creating the shape you want. Another thing I want to mention is a lot of the muscle you make is not going to be very noticeable after you add the fur, so it's up to you how much work you want to put into the body and the sculpture itself. However, in general, the better the base sculpture, the better the result will be in the end.
this point, I chose to pre-bake it for 15 minutes, mainly because I was running out of places to hold it comfortably. Now begin adding clay to the rear end and build up the, well, butt crack. And also, you want to start adding clay to the thighs. If you don't have a silicone tool like the one I'm using to build up a lot of the muscle, you can use your other sculpting tools as well. The only difference is that if you build up the muscle with something like darting tools, you may need to use your fingers to smooth out the clay afterwards. I pre-baked the horse again for 10 minutes after sculpting one and a half legs. Again, this is up to you. I did it so I wouldn't accidentally squish the leg while working on the wrist. And this way you'll be able to lay the horse on its side while working on the other legs. Now to sculpt the legs, you want to cover the wire with clay and adjust it to get the shape you want. Then use your exacto knife to remove any excess clay and correct the shape before adding the details.
After finishing the legs, I baked the horse for another 10 minutes. I then added a tiny bit more clay to the torso and added the ears as well. Then baked that entire sculpture for 30 minutes. And this is what we have so far. I also have a question for you. I've started sculpting some dogs and I was wondering if you'd like me to record all the different breeds I'm making. Some dogs do look similar and often it's the fur that makes the greatest difference. So I was wondering if you'd like to see a video for each one or if it would be too repetitive. 